like uh, it's like history porn. Yeah. <laughs> don't Google that. Don't Google don't it. Don't Google don't, that. You don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> Or, or like probably do. Or maybe do. Let <laughs> us know what you find. <laughs> if you do. It's funny. Um, guys, congrats on this Thank film. You. I really dug it. Thank you. Um, you know, obviously, it's it's very enlightening in terms of, of history and, and, and this really important mission, but it's so entertaining. And it falls within maybe one of my favorite sh- subgenres in the immortal words of Brad Pitt, killing Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, was that part of the appeal? Like, be honest, when you saw, okay, yes, yeah. this is a very important story, but there's going to be lots of Nazi bloodshed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I mean, all that era is like, I mean, historically speaking, so rich in, in information, right? And so it's always sort of fun of like, what is this specific film gonna narrate that we haven't seen before? Yeah. And I think for us, uh, being able to tell these unclassified, you know, now, fi- unclassified. now unclassified, obviously, but very, very recent, yeah. um, whole SOE story that is, by the way, very important and very, it changed the course of history of the war war two and a lot of people don't know about it and right. so mm-hmm. it's exciting it's like giving a fun history lesson while seeing a lot of of gory killing nazi mm-hmm. <laughs> moments for sure yeah and carrying babs i mean t- similar question like I guess just as a human species, we're all is just comparing things, and you keep hearing this is Guy Ritchie's Inglorious Bastards. Nope. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, because you know, I mean, we can hear that, yeah. but you know, film references, filmmakers reference other filmmakers, and sure. before Inglorious Bastards, there was the Dirty Dozen. Yep. Yeah. You right. know. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah, with the great John Cassavetes and Lee right. Marvin, right. and mm-hmm. you know, Agreed. so. This is from that. It's from Beyond and Glorious Bastards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Guy Ritchie's film. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can't compare it to anyone. Yeah, you can't yeah. compare it. Yeah. You, you can't, can't compare, compare Guy to anyone. You can't yeah. There's only one Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit more about that. I mean, how is working on a Guy Ritchie set different from any experience you guys have had? Very playful, very You've fun. You've heard, right? <laughs> totally You've fun. heard the word on the street, haven't you? <laughs> no, no, tell me. No, he's so much fun to work yeah. with. You know, we've all worked with him now more than once, and mm. uh, I think I can speak for them, but I'll let them talk. But it, it, it is a joy. Mm-hmm. It's totally joy. joyful. And that ends up on the screen. Yeah. He really loves actors. Yeah. He yeah. loves pushing you ma- and making you find areas that you've never explored before totally. as an actor. And, uh, and always you come out looking better than you ha- possibly had hoped. Yeah. yeah. You know? He lets you play and you get to play on yeah. film. Yeah. <laughs> and know. he looks at you in an eye that is very beautiful and he's so subtle about it and so nonchalant about it. But the truth of the matter is that Guy Ritchie can see the best of people while speaking to them and then picks up on that and puts it on film. Yeah. And what I love mm-hmm. about him is that is like, okay, what are your strengths? What have you not shown the world? Or what is it that I find fascinating about Babs or Carrie or Aza? And how can I put that on screen? Because that's that likability of individuals. And I think everyone has it really. Mm-hmm. It's just about having someone that has the eye for it. And he just has that. And so as an actor, that's a dream because you come in ridden with insecurities, right? You're you have a plan, you have an idea, yeah. you know what you want to do, but you're always, sort of, a lot of people don't talk about it, but you're looking at the director as like your teacher, like, did I do this right, did I do this right? And his approach is very different, you know, his approach mm-hmm. is like, yeah, let's play, do more, or push more, or reel back, and it, it's, it becomes this dynamic of a, of a fun, fun, entertaining game, and it doesn't, the pressure's off, yeah. and then all of a sudden, you're loosey goosey and, and yeah. he's getting the best of you and you didn't even yeah. realize. And he does yeah. it in such an interesting way yeah. that that's what makes Guy very special and yeah. all his movies very special. Yeah. Organically. Yeah, yeah Organic. natural. Organically. Yeah. And all the play then becomes really specific. Mm-hmm. The looseness becomes yeah. specific. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. yeah. And really like balances these tones. I mean, here yeah. he brings his sort of like signature dark, darkly comedic yeah. feel yeah. to a history right. lesson. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and we feel it from the opening frame. I mean, uh, let's talk about Henry Cavill and, and Alan Richin for a second because I feel like the way these guys sort of set the tone with the, the, that dark comedy, yeah, yeah, they're like, yeah. they're doing this thing and I noticed it's kind of a through line throughout the movie where they're like giggling before they're yeah. killing Nazis. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Did you guys, yeah, yeah. Is this, first of all, is this like the, the funniest Henry Cavill has ever been? Did you He's guys pick so up? He's so funny yeah, and I so know funny. and Alan yeah. is so yeah. Yeah. great. Alan it's kills out of their me. Minds. Um, yeah, it totally is. I will say, though, I will say that the first two weeks got set with Babs and me. Mm-hmm. And so usually sort of, to be honest, Indeed. 
I don't I, I don't want to say it, but the tone got set there. Yeah. And so yeah. sort of it unravels. It really did yeah, because did. the movie yeah. was yeah. written in a, as you know, this like a serious yeah. movie. And so sort of we got there and we started workshopping everything. Yeah. And I think Everybody. Guy, not saying us, we, we did, but Guy yeah. found the tone of what he wanted there. Yeah. And so it was great yeah. because by the time we got to the other part, it was already organic. And so they got to like let loose and have so much fun. And in that regard i bring that up because for as an actor being able to see the director sort of find the tone yes. of the movie in yeah. that process is the best from experience from the first day on yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah yeah cuz we shot for like 3 weeks before yeah. anyone else yeah. came in so it was very intimate for like a very small movie yeah. and then it started like growing 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 yeah. but the script was much more straightforward super much more straightforward. dry it was yeah. completely yeah. dry there yeah, was no yeah. humor in yeah, the yeah, script yeah, yeah. at all Amazing. This is guy yeah, it's Amazing. all guy. That's why and that comparison Amazing. in the beginning, I was like, mm, because yeah, yeah. You know, it's him. He yeah. did his thin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? that's awesome. Well, great yeah. to talk to you guys. Thank, 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 you. thank you for having thank me. Abort this mission now. Hello, can't hear you. Please do 